Alright, so hey guys, so welcome to another Warframe video, and today we're gonna check out the new and improved Rending Crane, which is a stance for heavy blades that has a V polarity and is described as a stance that has downward cuts with an impact combo. So we started off with the basic button mash combo, which is called Skull Splitter. Now this only consists of two attacks and they're both pretty similar. So they're an overhead attack that likes to hit headshots and the first one does 400% damage and the second one does 500% damage. This is the combo you use if you run into something really beefy like a Nox or a Lich and you don't want to zoom around, you just want to do DPS. Up next we have the forward button mash combo, which is called Lashing Tempest. And this one starts off with a bit of a triple strike, so there was hit number 1 that does 100% damage, then there is a dash which also does 100% damage, and then we have a swipe to the right which does 200% damage. Then there is an AoE strike that does 300% damage to everything around you, and that's followed up by yet another AoE strike which does 300% damage, but this time around it doesn't really hit behind you, it hits in a very wide cone in front of you, but it doesn't quite hit enemies that are standing right behind you. This is just an awesome combo, the dash is absolutely fantastic, it feels great, it has great multipliers and a ton of cleave as well. Up next we have the basic block combo which is called Landing Dragon and this is just a single strike that hits everything in front of you for 500% damage and sends whatever it hits flying. And by flying I mean flying. And that's actually the biggest problem with this combo because unless you manage to get the enemy lodged up against a wall or something you hit them once and that's it, they are gone. And finally we have the forward block combo which is called Rampaging Boar, what a fantastic name. This one consists of two double strikes, so we started off with you running forward and smacking the enemy out of the way for 100% damage and then you do this overhead slash that can hit headshots if you line it up well and it does 300% damage. Then you jump into the air and do a downward slash that very much likes to hit headshots for 200% damage, then there is another one for 400% damage and it all ends with a slam. I love everything about this combo, it has mobility with the dash, it has a ton of swag with the spinning in the air, it has good multipliers and it has a slam as well. Now as you may have noticed dear viewer, this combo has two dashes, one on the forward block combo and one on the standard forward combo. And while this does require a little bit of finesse, you need to get used to the attack speed and the timing, you can chain these together. So if you just do the forward block combo followed by the forward combo and you time everything just right, you will end up with this. And that is just really cool. Now when it comes to obtaining the Rending Crane stuns, you're basically just gonna have to farm the Grenier because it is an uncommon drop from all three variations of the Grenier Napalm. So the Standard Napalm, the Tusk Napalm, as well as the Kuva Napalm. And now we come to the conclusion, so has the Rending Crane stuns been improved with the second phase of Melee 3.0? Yes, oh yes, oh god yes, this thing is amazing. This used to be the stance that you would mostly use because you didn't have the cool guy stances, right? That being Temple Royale or Cleaving Whirlwind. But now, you can just use this forever and ever and ever. It is really good. In some respects, even better than Cleaving Whirlwind or Temple Royale. It definitely has the best mobility out of the heavy blade stances because when you learn to chain the two dashes together, you can zoom through missions like an absolute madman. So if somehow you still haven't obtained the Rending Crane stance, you definitely should. Just give it a spin, it is amazing. It has a ton of mobility, unrivaled mobility I would say even. It has good multipliers and good cleave as well. It's just a lot of fun and does good damage. And that is pretty much all I wanted to say. So I thank you very much for watching. As always guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye bye.